good morning students today we will discuss about a research proposal as you know research proposal is a beginning of any research project and those proposals serve to communicate the research problem its significance and planned procedures for problem for solving the problem so when you are preparing a research project there are various things that you have to keep in mind today we will discuss about some of the components of a research proposal and how to write a research proposal for a project for a research project or for a dissertation for academic purpose so research proposal is a written document which outlines the plan of research study proposals are written before the research project is started so it is prepared in well advance before the research project is started so let us see some of the com the components of any research proposal first component is background of the problem second statement of the problem third purpose fourth objectives fifth assumptions six operational definitions hypothesis research methodology work plan budget ethical considerations references and appendices let us see each of these points in detail see the purpose of the research study is to examine what the researcher intends to do in the research it helps the researcher to get a clear and concise views of what he intends to do how does the person actually conduct how does he monitor the progress of work of research work so when you plan a research work it should have some purpose and that should be very clear and it should be very really clearly communicated to the audience or the authorities to judge the relevance and significance of the study as well as the researcher's competency of conducting such research project the document also becomes a contact for the project so next component is a background of the problem so the background of the problem which you are going to uh, select for the research purpose explain how the research builds upon what has already been done in an area for example you are studying the burden of caregivers of chronic mentally ill patients the background of the problem will give what has been already done in this area related to the burden of caregivers in chronic mental illness so it strengthens the investigator's arguments concerning the significance of the study and should orient the reader to what is already known about the problem and how the proposed research will increase their knowledge so you have to clearly a uh, specify how the proposed research you are going to do will increase the knowledge in that particular area it should have a discussion of highly selective relevant studies which are already there in the literature the next component is the statement of the problem the statement should clearly indicate the key variables in the study it should specify the nature of the population being studied and suggest the possibility of empirical testing let us see an example of statement of the problem a study to evaluate the effect of progressive muscle relaxation technique on stress and coping among alcohol dependent patients admitted in selected de addiction center tiruvannadapuram the investigator should state clearly the reasons for undertaking the research a specific research study may have two or more goals next is the objective the objective should be clearly stated in achievable and measurable terms it should be smart objectives the objectives should be specific it should be measurable it should be attainable realistic and it should be within time limits the objective will provide the criteria against which the proposed research methods can be 
assessed. It should be formed on the basis of specific questions to be answered. So all the research uh, projects will have specific objective uh, and, and it should be clearly mentioned in the study. We will write assumption for a descriptive study and hypothesis for an experimental study. Next component is operational definition. So this operational definition refers to the clarification of the terms in such a way that they are potentially observable. It is a specification of the operations which the researcher must perform in order to collect the required information. So operational definition of the terms or variables which you use in your research. Uh, that what researcher is trying to study. That what res researcher uh, understand by those variables. For in this study, self-instructional module means probably um, a, a module which helps the um, patients with um, as a pacemaker to proceed with the ongoing care or day-to-day -day care. So what the re researcher intends to uh, do with each of the term which are mentioned in the uh, title of the study. So that has to be clearly mentioned. These are the operational definitions of the already mentioned study. So in the operational definitions, we uh, define about all the terms which are used in the title of the study or the statement of the problem. Here in the study, effect. Effect in the study refers to the extent to which progressive muscle relaxation helps in reducing the stress and improving coping mechanism among alcohol dependent patients. Progressive muscle relaxation in the study refer to tensing and relaxing the muscles from the forehead to feet one by one practiced by alcohol dependent patients for 30 minutes duration for a period of two weeks with the assistance of a video developed by the researcher. So in the operational definitions, the researcher has to mention what he refer to a particular procedure or what he means by each word that is mentioned in the title. It, is it may be different for different researchers.